poverty consumer mindset. Wealth, a producer's mindset. Some of y'all got a poverty mindset. You, you ain't got nothing running over because you keep taking. You feel good about somebody just cashing you out. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible says it's better to than to you geek because somebody gave you. Geek, you should be geek when you give. I lived off 30% of my income. Why? So I could have cash when big opportunities came. I kept my script, my credit up. All right, here's a poverty mindset. Poverty mindset is I owe somebody and I ain't gonna pay them till I die. It's a poverty mindset. When you, when you took out that student loan, you signed your name. Don't your name mean something to you? You told them you was gonna pay them back. It'd be cool if you ain't telling me you was gonna pay them back. You told them you was gonna pay them back. A poverty mind says I ain't gonna pay them back. When I got my first lump sum check, first thing I did was pay student loans. Sally Mae, I paid Sally Mae. Whose student loans did I pay for first? I paid for Didi's first. So I had to show my wife, like I ain't going nowhere. Boom, student loan paid for. Then a year or two later, I paid mine off. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Then took care of all our debts, took care of her mama's debts. When you get whole, you buy stuff that you need and that's useful. When you not whole, you buy stuff so people can see you got money. When you rich, you don't want them to know you got it. I only bring my bank account. Let me tell you something. Only two people you need to impress. That's God and your creditors. That's it. I'm just being real. You need to impress God, and then if Chase want to give you a mil two million to get a house, you got to prove to them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you do got to prove. So you know what I'm saying? Like, there's two people. Your creditors, you need to prove something to, and God. Other than that, you don't need to be proving nothing to nobody. You need to get out of your feelings. And the reason why they get some of y'all is because you're in your feelings. You want to prove something that already exists. Why do I have to prove to people what I have? And that's why people fool with me because I'm organic. I don't, I'm not trying to prove what already is. Matter of fact, I don't tell you about the real good in my marriage. I tell you about all the mistakes I made. Why? Because it, not, it does not benefit you to know what I have that's good. What benefits you is the mistakes I made and how I overcame those mistakes. That's what benefits you. It don't benefit me to walk around and act like I got, oh, I'm killing it. Does that make sense? So you got to get out of your feelings because that's poverty and you can be manipulated. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When you desperate, you make desperate moves. Find an area of your life where you're not wealthy and put all your energy on it. Relationships, get the wealthy relationships. Stop hanging out with people who ain't healthy unless y'all made a commitment to help them to get healthy. Does that make sense? Get your money right, get your spiritual life right. There should be no area of your life you can't be wealthy, why? Because he said be fruitful, then he said multiply, then he said have dominion, then he said subdue. When you're in abundance, Tiffany, you told me January 1st that how much money did I already lose by leaving corporate? I already left for half a million dollars on the table, y'all. The year hadn't even started. But why don't I run up behind every corporate company that called me? I'm already in abundance. How many gigs did you get me? And that equals seven figures? I'm already in abundance. I don't need eight million. I don't need 10 million to live. It don't take more than a million to live a year. I'm in abundance, so I don't have to run up behind every opportunity. That's why I'm telling you to be wealthy. You run up behind some stuff you shouldn't be doing because you are in poverty. People who are broke make desperate decisions. I make a lot of money, but I live off of 30% of my income. I live in a 2,300 square foot home. The people next to me are like working class, like teachers, firefighters. Like I could easily move to Atlanta and put a million to the side and get a mansion. My rent is 1,900 a month. Well, I don't have a mortgage no more, but when I had one, it was 1,900 a month. I make 50 grand a speech. I drive an Escalade that my company bought for me, and we don't have three cars. I got the one car that I drive. I don't have the one I drive then on the weekend. If you wanna drive multiple cars, that's cool. I'm just telling you how to get rich.